hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new you're welcome if you're old you're super super welcome guys and guys guess what this my hair actually went to do dorothy's style if you remember that dorothy's hair style that she did so guys this is what my designer gave me big curls looking very big she gave me tiny curls all right so for the cotton she tried it's more like dorothy's cotton but from the beginning she couldn't get it as in from as in my, the edge of my head she couldn't get it this one is no longer four corner it's now circle but how will do copy copy sometimes with the p <laughs> And so guys, today we have very interesting stories for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, today I have to tell you about what Erica said about Kiwaya. So when they asked her, who will you do like that? Who will you kiss? Who will you marry? Guess what she said? Kiwaya. They mentioned Lacon, uh, Whiskey, and Kiwaya. Who, do, who else would Erica choose if not Kiwaya? So guys, we're going to be watching a video of Erica choosing who she wants to end her life with all right guys and so guys erica was interviewed by beat fm and she was asked how many times does she shower in a day she said twice in the morning and evening after the first question then the second question the third question that came was who will you marry and all of those things you can see them on the screen and guess what she mentioned listen to her talk kid lacon whiskey kiss Kill, kill my kid. Yeah, everything kid. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, guys, did you hear what she said? <laughs> she said everything kid. Everything kid. And they asked her what the weirdest thing that people have said about you. She said people saying that her laughter is, is fake. Her laughter is not fake. Her laughter is so real. She laughs when she wants to laugh and she gets angry when she wants to get angry. So guys, if you're an Erica fan, please give me a thumbs up, like my videos and also leave your comments below. Please, are you an Erica fan? Show yourself. Show the love right there on the comment section, guys. <laughs> So guys, just like I told you about Lacon visit to Aquaibum State, yeah. Lacon visit to Aquaibum State, and guess what? Lacon had a warm welcoming. Not just about the welcoming, but about the crowd that came to welcome him. From the south, you can imagine the love. South, south, very far from the west. It's not even close to the west in any way. If you take a flight, it's about 40-something minutes to the south. So, Lacon came home. They gave him a warm welcome. He went with the commissioner, the governor. They gave him an award. Not just that. Later last night, Lacon gave us the vibe. The vibe we've always wanted. He sang and danced for the Uyo people. <laughs> and so we were very happy for of Lele of Lacon. So guys, next we're going to be watching a video of Lacon giving it back to back to the Uyo people, singing for them in a way that they've never seen before. This one is live entertainment, live concert. It's not something that you have to watch through television. They saw Lacon live. And Lacon sang for them. So guys, watch this video of Lacon. Uno yo. Hello, Barney. I want to see you in this. And so guys, Lekon was to say Abadie. <laughs> he didn't know how to say it, but he had to say it. And you know what Abadie is? It, but Abadie is a form of greetings in a Kwaibom state. It's an Ebibio language. Yes, a Bibio dialect, anyhow you would want to call it. So guys, that was it about Lekon and Erika. So guys, see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.